Are you awake? The light is on, so I kind of hoped you were. I know you didn't call me, for lack of a better word, this time, but I, uh, I came to visit you anyway. It's, um, it's been a little while, and I just thought, you know, for old time's sake. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's good that, uh, that you didn't call me, because that means you've been getting some good rest. You have? Well, I'm glad. So how have you been doing? just been, you know, dead. <laughs> I'm still dead. <laughs> just don't worry about it. I joke about it all the time. It kind of becomes this running gag, I guess. When you're dead for so long, it, um, <laughs> you're gonna stop making a problem out of it. I'm sorry, I don't mean to, to depress you like that. <laughs> I know I can be a little obnoxious sometimes. That's what my, um, my associates tell me anyway. I mean, when you are stuck with each other for an eternity, I guess. Little jokes like that, they uh, tend to lose their charm. It's a reason I don't get called back a lot, especially lately. It seems people tend to move on to a different flavor of nightly visits. Talking about flavor, can I, um, can I ask you for a favor? Um, it's kind of the reason that I stopped by. Don't, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I, um, I, you know, I was curious about you and how you were doing. I just and just want to pop in for no reason. I know how people can get around ghosts sometimes. It's, um, it's kind of freaky, right? <laughs> but, you know, you'd rather have a ghost on your doorstep than a vampire, right? <laughs> I mean, we're both already dead. I said I need to take you with me, so to speak. Unless you really want to, but we kind of have a policy against that. We're more of the trying to convince people to stay kind. <laughs> Maybe that's why some of us they go over the same sob stories over and over again. I think after all these years they've kind of accepted it, but no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, favor. I am. Um, I've been noticing something lately, and uh, since you were admittedly. You only want to call me back a second time in decades. You are a 
with the present the best friend that I have in the mortal realm at least I'm becoming less translucent you know how I can just go through matter I would try but I don't want to give you the chills by you know punching through your chest on accident What was that? I mean, I haven't heard anything about it. I checked up on your place every, every once in a while. Are you sure you don't have any other activity here? Oh, if you say so. Like I said, I, I check up on you every once in a while. And, um, are you sure? You can, you can tell me. You can tell me anything, really. Well, sometimes I just kind of go around and this wall here. I can't move through it anymore. What? Look at that. I can touch it. In, in this room, the other walls I can just move through and the ceilings and the floor, but I'm slowly starting to lose my translucency. I don't know why. Just I mean, I, I asked around a bit, but nobody really had a straight answer. I was worried I might have become more tuned with the mortal realm, so to speak. Honestly. Now everything considered, I was quite content with being exactly where I was. Really, it's been so many years, I, I don't even think I would want to live anymore. And even though there were the interaction I have with, with people like you, I like it, <laughs> but I'm not sure if I want anything more than that. <sighs> what if it doesn't stop here, you know? It's not just this wall, and I've noticed other silly things bumping into people. <laughs> That's been a while. Knocking things over when I move to a table or a closet. I'm really worried. <laughs> More of that than I can 
almost consider myself alive again. And I, I figured since, well, you're really one of the only people that accepts me. Sad as it sounds. Maybe, maybe you know why that's sad. What are your theories? Just hit me with everything you have. Strange even touching, touching anything again. What if I would gain the, <sighs> the ability to hug again? Sorry, I don't know. I shouldn't have come here. And it's silly and childish and everything I'm supposed to be not. I can just go if you want me to. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll just go. <sighs> I'm sorry I bothered you like this. What was that? You want me to stay? It's not something that I've heard before. I really hate going into this whole sob story, but in life I, um, I wasn't really used to, to doing anything tangible. People never really noticed me. And for a long time I've been wondering if that's the reason, you know, that I am doomed to an existence like that. Never really connecting, never really influencing someone directly. Insist on keeping me around, huh? Just like my company. <laughs> Maybe that's it, huh? I've entered the realm of fantasy, for real. Realm of fantasy where a wordy little ghost falls in love, and suddenly everything, everything becomes real. You can suddenly feel touch. True love reigns supreme, you know. It's not something I believe in, I'm sorry. The only thing that I know is that I just feel very, very protective of you. And I don't know why. But there it is. I'm honestly a little more worried about the whole thing that I'm letting on.
situation. I'm sorry. <sighs> there are rules and regulations and all sorts of things that it's like ghost rules, you know. Well, they only help out on a superficial level and that's it. That's it. If you don't mind, I, I can visit more often, if you want, that is. We can, uh, we can do that. But don't, don't forget who I am, what I am. Maybe, maybe after a while I can start trusting you more. But for now, I, I've kept you up long enough. I think you need your sleep.